What's up, future people? Uh, Major Socks here again. Uh, I actually got a few more uh, Sultanate boxes uh, today. Uh, I sold the last of my Legion uh, armies, uh, the, my Rebels. That's all I have left to sell. So I uh, bought the Order Exemplar uh, Squadrons and the Order Colossus Squadron. So uh, I'll go ahead and do the unboxings uh, for you guys here. <laughs> All right, so the next one I'm going to open up is the Order Exemplar Squadrons. Um, these go with the Order Battle Fleet um, within the Sultanate. And when you're building your forces, they'll go with the Order Battle Fleet set, um, set up uh, with the Rotage Portal Generator ship as its flagship. And again, got a little bag of resin pieces. Let's see what we got here. All right, so a couple of whole sections. Um, these are for the Lasas. Pretty nice looking models there. Again, the little catamarans there. Some twin, twin judgment lance cannons, uh, little destroyer sections for the destroyers. So I got four of those. Got two of these sets because uh, I can make four of the little destroyers and then four of the cruisers. And then here's all the main. Got two of these sprues as well. Uh, so again, here's all the little destroyer pieces. Um, all the gun batteries, some gener or various generators, the whole sections for uh, what normally would be used. Uh, actually, these are going to be the side sections uh, since this is the top part. The Those sides are going to go right along here, and then the catamarans on both sides. Gun platforms for the guns. All right, so this next one I'm going to open up is the Order Colossus Squadrons. Uh, these are the Colossus, uh, Aerial Colossus units that you get. Again, goes for the Order Battle Fleet, so it'll go along with the, uh, the small, smaller cruisers and dest uh, destroyers I just opened up and showed you. Uh, with this box, you can build um, the Chaska or the Quilar. Uh, the Chaska has a big, huge sword there and a Twin Judgment Cannon on its other arm, or the Quilor has a big, huge uh, Helioblast weapon that comes out of its mouth trying to decide which one I want to build. I'll probably play test them uh, by proxy um, because you get a couple of flight bases and uh, flight stands. Probably uh, try these by via proxy. All, this is all resin and depending on how it's all modeled out, I might be able to try and get this set up so that I can magnetize them in between the two, but I don't know how feasible that is. Couple of joints. Uh, looks like shoulder pads or shin guards, but these are a whole bunch of the joints for the various arms, legs, pieces, and whatnot. Um, and then the actual, oh, sorry, those are probably arms because these look like legs. Um, so of various types. And then here's the arms. So here's the arms that will go for the Chaskas because the twin judgment land cannons will go right. Oh, no, sorry. The twin judgments are already based on the, uh, arm itself on the wrist so there's the twin judgment cannons there's the sword for the chaska so these two hand sets are for the quailars depending again for what version you're going to build so i got two of those sprues for just in case i need uh two different sets and then here's the main body section and the little wings that go on the back um, so try and clear out all that resin flash in between the wings veins themselves that's gonna be a little tricky um and then again some more of the main body parts uh head part for uh that's the quailar or sorry chaska's head that's the quailar's head so and then the shoulder pads knees and so what what other body parts so that's pretty much what i have i pretty much have two of each type of uh resin set that i just showed you um I'm leaning right now. I'm leaning more towards the Quailar, um, mostly because of this Helioblast weapon can uh, shoot 18 dice uh, even when it's crippled, and it can shoot through portals. So I can kind of have these guys set back a little bit. I don't have to have them right up next to the other units like the uh, Chaska, because these guys can sit back and put a portal out nearby them 
but then they can put another portal out 20 inches away and then I can measure out 10 inches from the portal to hit a unit. Uh, sorry, bring that down a little bit. Uh, so having two of those on the table along with my Rotage flagship, which also has that whip in, I think could be a very, very nasty combo um, around the table field. So that's what I'm leaning excuse me, uh, more towards the Quailar, but again, I'll play test the Chaska too, see what I like. So thanks again for your support here on Gaping Cable, and uh, sorry, I got the hiccups, and I'll see you around.